Hey YouTube, here with another flashlight review. This is the very first uh, light I've ever had by this brand, Sunway Man. They have a pretty good reputation from what I've read, and this is the light itself. Uh, by my measurement, the length of this light is uh, four and one quarter inches. Okay, this is the most compact I've found, you know, that uses the same type of battery. It's a zebra light, and as you can see, it's almost as short as the zebra light. Now the max lumens on this are a thousand lumens. Yeah, it's pretty bright. A thousand lumens. All right, and aside from being quite compact and quite bright, the main claim to fame of this light is that it has a secondary emitter right here. So it's a conventional flashlight, right? But it can also be used as a headlamp. You see that there. Okay, before we go on, let's just roll in a little bit of demonstration footage uh, outside in the real world. Okay, out here with this Sunway Man. This is the turbo mode. I'm going to cycle through the modes. Turbo, high, medium, low. Turbo, high, medium, low. Turbo again. Now it's about 3.30 at night, so without the light, this is what you see nothing without the light and let there be light okay this is turbo mode and i have backed up a ways backed up a ways from the target okay and even farther back this is as far back as i can go and it's still illuminated and last but not least a beam shot from the window okay that was the target that's where we were Sweeping the garden. Okay, warning, I'm going to demonstrate the strobe and beacon. That's a strobe. And that is the SOS beacon. And once again, here is the strobe. Okay, now a demonstration of using the two lights on this simultaneously. This is the main light. And if I move it. That's a secondary light. Main, secondary. And those are my shoes. And you see the different colors. The main is white, right? And this is a natural white and a cool white. And now I am going to demonstrate using the secondary light, the secondary light to illuminate my path using this as kind of a, a headlamp style light. Let's go for a little walk and it, it's definitely great at illuminating your path I mean look at that flood and yeah this thing is great for lighting your path all right as we just go around go around to the front I mean you can see everything this is super bright this thing is a pretty awesome headlamp all right here we are and wow I mean it's like daylight all right let's go in and complete the review and we are back. I hope you like that. All right, so how to operate this light? It's got four brightness settings, right? Turbo, high, medium, and low. To turn it on, you just press this button here. And to choose a brightness setting, you just hold the button down and it will cycle through, starting at turbo and working its way down. And you just stop wherever you want. So if I hold it down, high, medium, low, back to turbo. All right, so that's how to select a mode. It has two special modes, strobe and beacon. All right, to get to those, you just double click it while it's on. All right, warning, strobe coming. There is the strobe. All right, and there is the flashing come rescue me beacon. To turn on the secondary light, you're just going to press this for more than half a second and it will come on. There you go. Now this has three modes, high, medium, and low. And to select it, again, press it down. Medium, low, high, medium, low, high. It also has special modes. There you go. And so it has three brightness levels and two special modes on that secondary light. Now, if you want to turn both lights on at the same time, you can do that. 
basically double click the button and then hold on the second click. There you go. And now both are on. Now this is cool because, right, that light is going to illuminate what's by your feet so you're not tripping over things. And then the main light is going to illuminate what's in front of you. So that is actually quite useful, uh, you know, walking around at night. As far as installing and replacing the batteries, just remove the tail cap assembly. That's what that looks like. I'm using two lithium ion batteries. This will use two CR123 batteries. You can also use the lithium ion equivalent, which would be a 16340. These are Eagle Tech 16340s. This light will also function with an 18650 lithium ion battery. I have here a Sony branded 18650, and I have tested it out uh, with these as well. But just to show you that it does work with that. And there you go. It also has a tungsten right, glass breaker there for emergency. Got to break some auto glass. As far as the ergos, got some good texture here. And you notice it's like squared off here. All right, that's so you can set it down. And that's so you can set it down and it's not going to roll. Okay, it can also tail stand, turbo mode, a thousand lumens, that is very bright. However, it does get pretty hot. I would not recommend running that for more than like three minute pulses at a time. And another potential drawback would be the button itself. It's kind of small and a lot of lights, you know, they try to give you a large activation button like this. Whereas this is, this button is relatively small. Right, so, yeah, I mean, I think they could have made the button just easier to use in an emergency. All right, but those points aside, it's still an awesome light. I mean, that is a genius idea to put a headlamp type type of light in there. Now, where to get this? Um, Gearbest sells these for $40. And I got to say, $40 for this, I mean... That is that is definitely a good price for the technology that you're getting. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives and Lights. I hope you enjoyed seeing this Sunway Man. I'm out.